what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i'm going to teach you how to find a range of possible values for an angle and we're going to do this using the hinge theorem all right so to use the hinge theorem you need two congruent sides and the angle between those two congruent sides all right so here you can see it already gives us that we have this side which is congruent to this side but we need one more side right so you can see that this side in the middle is a side that they have in common so since they share this common side, we can basically say it's congruent to itself. Okay, great. So we have our two congruent sides right here on each triangle. And we also have the angle between these two congruent sides, right? So these two congruent sides over here meet at this corner, basically, right? So we have the angle right here. And same thing on this side, we have the angle between those two congruent sides right there. Okay, now if you notice something, it says that this angle is 32 degrees and it opens up to this length over here that is eight units long. And then over here, it says that this angle right here is eight minus six degrees, and it opens up to this shorter side that is seven units long. Okay, so since seven is smaller than eight, that means this angle must be smaller than this angle, right? So we can say that x minus six degrees is smaller than this angle, 32 degrees. So that's one way we can solve for x. We can say x minus 6 must be smaller than 32 degrees. Okay, and then here we can, uh, to solve for x, we can add 6 to both sides. So then we get that x is less than 38. Okay, great. So we found one solution, but remember, we're looking for a range. So we need to find one more solution. And in order to find that, we're going to take our unknown angle, so x minus 6, and this time we're simply going to say it's greater than 0. Okay, and that makes sense, right? Because if this angle right here were 0 degrees, well then we wouldn't actually have an angle over here, right? So whatever this angle is, maybe it's 1 degree, maybe it's 2 degrees, whatever. But we obviously have an angle here, so it has to be at least bigger than 0, right? So that's how we're basically going to find the lower limit. So then here, we're, again, we're just going to solve for x. We're going to add 6 to both sides. So then here we get that x is greater than 6. Okay, so here's our other solution. So then we can combine this into just one inequality. Okay, so we could say that, again, x is less than 38, right? It's less than 38, but x is bigger than, it's greater than 6, right? So we can say that x is greater than 6. So the numbers that we can plug in for x over here has to be somewhere between 6 and 38, all right? So that'd be your final answer right there. All right, let's try this last one over here. So here we're going to try and solve for y. So it tells us that this angle right here is 4y minus 10 degrees. And we can also use the hinge theorem in this case, right? Because, again, you need two congruent sides and the angle between those two congruent sides. So it tells us these two sides are congruent up here, and then these two, or this one, is congruent to this one, right? So since we meet those two conditions, again, we can just compare the two angles that are between our congruent sides. So again, we can compare this angle right here with this angle over here. So this angle is 50 degrees, and again, this is 4y minus 10. And as you can see, this side over here, 14, is smaller than, right, this one's smaller than this one over here, 15. So that means that this angle over here must be smaller than this angle. So 4y minus 10 must be smaller than 50, okay? So we can, to find basically the upper limit, we can say that 4y minus 10 is smaller than, right? Less than 50. Now to solve for y here, we can get rid of the 10 by adding 10 to both sides. So then here we get that 4y is less than 60. Divide both sides by 4. So then here we get that y is less than 15. Okay, great, we found one solution. Now again, to find the other solution, we're just going to take the angle that we're looking for. So 4y minus 10, and again, just say it's greater than 0, because again, we know whatever this angle is, it has to be bigger than at least 0 degrees, right? So again, here to solve for y, we can just add 10 to both sides. So then here we get 4y is greater than 10, divide both sides by 4. So then here we get that y is greater than 10 over 4, which is the same thing as 2.5. Okay, great. So we found our lower limit. So now, again, we can combine these into one inequality. So here we can say that y, first of all, is less than 15. 
and y is also greater than 2.5, right? So y is greater than 2.5. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.